Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it's your boy Alamite. Welcome to the channel. Um, big announcement is my first time making a YouTube video ever. Um, I'm excited, a little bit nervous. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. So if I mess up, just kind of laugh at me and hey, you know, I'm just gonna be learning as as I go along through this journey. It's something new for me. Like I said, I've never done it before. A little bit nervous. I'm excited. Um, so a little bit of just about me really fast. Uh, I play drums. I'm a drummer. I got about 20 years of experience. Um, I, then I stopped playing for a, just for a little bit. I got into beat making. Um, started making beats. I was I was trash. Then I got a little bit better. And every year I got a little bit better and better. And then from there, <clears throat> just really just, uh, you know, I guess you could say I took like a, I wouldn't say a break. I guess you could say like a break, you know. I had other stuff going on in life. Then got back into making beats again. Then started kind of like sort of producing on the side for just my friends and people that I knew and family members and stuff like that, you know. And and here I am now, just like about, you know, three years ago, I, I got into production. So as far as production goes, uh, I'm not super in-depth. Like, I don't have a lot, a lot, a lot of experience. But I've always known how music is supposed to sound. So I've always had that advantage um for myself right um and just kind of understanding that and i was i'm really uh i like learning a lot so i'm really good at like you know i'm really good at absorbing information and applying it and learning it you know that's how you gain wisdom and experience and you got to get there and to get a little bit dirty right so um to anyone watching just uh enjoy my journey you know uh if you like it you know Go and hit the hit the like button, you know, if you like what you're seeing. Uh, if you want to keep following me, subscribe. Uh, if you want to know more about what I'm doing, hit that notification bell just to so y'all can get those notifications. Uh, leave comments. Um, hey, like I'm learn I'm here to learn too. Like, you know, you guys might learn from me. I'm gonna learn from you guys, and we're all just kind of like we're all kind of here as a community. You know, it's a big community that we have. So I care about the community, and you know. We all care about each other. So leave a comment. Um, if you have any suggestions for the channel, you know, for what for things that I'm doing. Again, I'm not, you know, I'm I haven't been doing this for a long time. Obviously, I've never done YouTube at all. I've always wanted to. Um, I would I just never knew what that would have looked like, but I'm excited. Um, but yeah, like, so without further ado, I'm just gonna jump into the video. I'm gonna stop just, you know talking too much um so really today what i'm doing today is i have this beat that um this artist sent me that i'm working with right now uh he's my homeboy uh i've known him for quite quite some time now and he's got this you know this song that he's, he's got a actually it's a it's a six song ep then this is the first song out of the that's gonna go on the ep um, track number one is called uh, uh, Calm Before the Storm And my boy's name is uh, Flow Munition So later on as You know he goes through his journey as well I'm going to start linking music and To his social medias and Spotify And, and all, all this uh, other good stuff Right um, That way I can follow his journey as well But right now I'm going to show you this beat And the producer The, the way he made the beat was it's kind of all over the place. No real dynamics. The mixing's kind of it's really off. Like it's just, it just sounds like it got it got really pushed pushed through like a limiter or like a a clipper or something. Like it's just it's it's nasty, right? So I'm just gonna play it for you guys, and just kind of I'll explain later on what I'm gonna do to the to the beat, how I how I fixed it. So here we go.
Okay, so um, as you guys heard, at first glance, you know, if you're not really like listening too hard, it sounds like, hey, that's a, it's a good beat, right? It's got nice groove, you know, nice, you know, nice sounds, good drums. But generally, it's just kind of like there's no space for the vocals to sit in there. The vocalist, he won't be able to do anything, whether he's singing or rapping or whatever. There's just no room to do, you know, there's no room for the vocalist. And the the vocal is the main instrument, right? That's like the, you know, that's the main thing that people want to hear. Then then the the beat or the, you know, the, comp- the composition all together, how it, you know, how it kind of makes people feel what it, you know, emotionally has got to move you. So... Um, besides, you know, like musicians, producers, singers, rappers, whatever, right? They're all artists. And engineers, we're artists too, you know, like we're, you know, we put on a performance and the performance that we put on in the mix, that's what people are going to hear and that's what people are going to feel. So one of the, the one of the things that I did to fix this, and these are all the plugins that I used and it's it looks insane, but just kind of bear with me and I'll show you guys why. I use so many plugins, but there were it's, it's specific plugins for specific things. It's not just something random that I threw on there. Okay, so the first thing I did, um, the multipass. So the, the way I use the multipass is more of a is my canvas to start the repair process. And that I guess you could say it's add some character, but not really. It's more like start to add some separation between elements, right? All these other bands, and you can see what they are. So here in the Right here, I added the slicey the slice EQ, and um, I'm gonna show you. That's all I did. Literally, that's all I did. Right? Okay. So we can close that off. And I'm just gonna play it, and I'm gonna go ahead and start activating these these plugins within this this plugin, so you guys can kind of hear what what it's doing. Okay, so as you guys heard, <laughs> like now that separation started. Like I started adding that separation now. And so now you're able to hear kind of where I cleaned it up. I, I put some separation between some, um, some of these these bands and these elements. And so now you can kind of hear what, what's going on. It's starting to sound clean. So the next plugin I used was the Fat Channel. I used Studio One um, in case you guys didn't recognize what what a DAW this was. Um, I just went for this compressor right here. I like the way it sounds. Just real big and powerful. So I'm going to go ahead and activate it with the, the mix tool, which is it's just basically a, a volume knob. I don't want to blow out your guys' ears. And at the same time, that way you guys can hear 
what's going on. Okay, so the next plugin after that, and you can you kind of hear kind of it kind of it glued it together. It brought out some of the 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 cool things that I liked about the my canvas, how I started it, and the separation that I did. So kind of like it brought it up to it kind of brought everything a little bit closer, but still having that separation and just a little bit more, you know, sounds a little bit wider and punchier. I guess you could say it's got that feel, right? The next plugin was the the 4KB, and it's probably one of my favorite uh, channel strips, okay? And you can see everything that I did. So I'm going to go ahead and bypass this um, the channel strip, and then I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, glide over these so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing as the beats playing. All right, so you guys heard how that sounds. Um, again, this is more for like character now. Like I'm really okay. Like now I'm really starting to like kind of squash things down and give it more character. Like really like press down on it. Basically, you can kind of say that was my my approach to this. Um, and obviously, like I said, the SSL SSL stuff always has good character. You know, you can never go wrong with that. The next plugin. Another SSL is the the vintage drive, and again, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, show you guys what I did here. I'm gonna go go ahead and just leave it like that and play the beat. So I picked this plugin because it just sounds really good. Literally, it, it gives it that that drive, you know, it's like a preamp, saturator, distortion type thing. But it gives a character, right? It just makes it, it makes everything sound more a little bit in your face, but at the same time being, you know, with with some control. The next plugin in the chain is just a a stock EQ, uh, Pro EQ. With this EQ, after all the processing I did. Now the process, the processing that I did started to stack up, right? And a lot of the stuff that I didn't like previously started to come up again. It started, it's starting to creep up on me. And a lot of it was right here. So you can see what I carved out. And now the, the mix sounds a little bit thinner, not as powerful. So from here, I went here. I went to the low end and I added this one right here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and activate it, bypass it, and then you guys can hear um, what it's doing. And I was, and by the way, I was very gentle with this with this uh, specific plugin. So as you guys can hear, it gave it that what I really wanted to do was just kind of like I said, I was very gentle with it. And I just wanted the, you know, something like a nice, big, you know, round low end that could just kind of sit at the bottom and kind of sway back and forth. Like it's just got this, right? This real, like it follows the beat very well. Like it sways with the beat and it holds it together. And I, I just like the way it sounds. It's smooth. It's like real creamy and smooth, right? And I, I just, I really like it. Uh, the next thing on the chain is just the filter to follow what I did with the with this plugin over here. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and and bypass that. So you guys are wondering why I added a filter when I just wanted this. So I wanted the character of this plugin, right? Of that, of that, of what the how it affects the low end. But I I knew it was gonna be kind of like a loose cannon and be out of control, like at the very, very bottom. So I the cutoff I did it at at 25. Um it was 25. I mean, just by one doesn't really matter. But the cutoff is at 25. The Q is at uh is right there. And my slope is right here. So it's got six times one, all the way times six, had it at four. So what I'm gonna do after this, I went to the to the uh, SSL uh, compressor, um, and it's the it's the G bus is based off the uh, the console. So you you guys already know where I'm going with this. Um, if you're familiar with this with this compressor, I'm gonna make it sound big and fat. So I'm gonna introduce a lot of the stuff that this filter took away. I still wanted the character, but I wanted to, I wanted to blend the character of this. Of the of this low end, how this one affects the low end, and the, just the big and fatness of this compressor. So that's exactly what I did. Um, at the same time, I was very careful with that plugin as well with this compressor. Um, something that I'm keeping in mind as I'm doing these, uh, as I'm building this chain, as I was building the chain, I was very aware of like, okay, it's very, it's a very harsh beat at its in its raw state. So I'm like, okay, I have to be gentle, and every move that I make has to count. So I, I kept that in mind as I was building this chain. Um, I went to the and now this is an older version. I'm sure by now everyone's got the updated version. Really, uh, I don't use too much of a. I'm not a big uh, isotope guy. 
I know they're great and they're high quality, but I just have so many plugins. And to keep up with all of them is like, and again, they got great stuff. And later on, I, I had to get the upgrades and all that good stuff. But as of now, I'm stuck with the older version, but it works. And that's that's all that matters is, is how how are you going to use what you have in your toolbox? Learn your guys, you guys, you guys have to learn what's in your toolbox. Learn it like on your free time when you have nothing to do when you're bored or, or you know, like you just feel like you're sucking at mixing at the end and that, you know, that week or that day or whatever. Take some time off, relax, come back, you know, and just, you know, open a, a blank session, throw in some some songs, vocals, instruments, right? And then just throw on plugins and start testing them. That's exactly what I do. So what I did was compressor, um, transient shaper, and exciter. So this is what I did. I'm going to, again, play it so you guys can see, uh, you know, what's going on here. So with this one, I it was a, uh, it was I used it uh in high detailed. I only affected this right here, and you can see what bands these are right here. Is that one from eight hundred, all the way to uh two point oh. So um, it's really like right up in the middle. Um, I just felt that in the middle it was lacking. So that's exactly just. You know, I came in and I gave it some something in the middle to to compensate for everything else that I did. And I felt like it was just being choked out a little too much. And oh, something I did not mention. Um, when I got to. I want to say. Um, right here. Let me see. Yeah. So when I got to this point right here, somewhere around these three three plugins, I'm not gonna lie, I don't quite remember. I did go back to this and I set these gain levels a little bit different. Okay. So um the gain for the the low band is at minus 2.5 dB. The the low mid is that minus three? That one I didn't really touch that one. And the uh high mids are at uh plus uh plus two dB. That one remains untouched. Untouched, untouched. Just I thought I'd throw that in there. Maybe that would that kind of helped you guys. Maybe it didn't, but I, I know I showed you guys, you know. I kind of I kind of skipped this part, but um, you know, just I thought I'd let you guys know what I did there. Okay, so moving on, uh, we went through all these things right here, the exciter, okay, and another filter. So I, I went a little bit heavy with the filtering on this one uh, with this beat, but you guys can kind of hear how that sounds. So I'm just gonna bypass that.
as you heard, the bass has got bigger, even though it's a filter. Yeah, obviously, you guys can see what I did with the Q. Um, right? So, uh, really, guys, uh, my process, like, my thought process behind this was to control and enhance at the same time with the single, with a single filter. Um, I cut it at, at 35. This is my Q. My filter slope remains the same. But I controlled it. I cut it off where I wanted to. Now I'm like, okay, exactly where I cut it at, it's where I'm going to give it like a little tiny boost. Right? So you, as you can hear, that's what that sounds like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it again so y'all so can hear again and pay attention to that low end and how it just... It just gets a little bit a little bit bigger, right? Okay, so <laughs> a big difference. Just again, th sometimes the most simple, like the the easiest and more and most simple tools to use are the best ones to use in certain situations. Like like this one, again, control and enhancement. That's it. Very simple. Okay. The next thing I did, um, and this is the last thing on this chain, is the X limit by by SSL. So this one's kind of like a a limiter, but also like an exciter, but kind of like a compressor at the same time. You know, it's supposed to be a limiter. So it's really one of my favorite plugins to go to enhance sound. Now, you guys are going to hear why. <laughs> when you hear it, you're going to be like, if you've seen it and just kind of like were disinterested and you thought it was just another limiter, right? It's not, right? So it's limiting, but it's excite it's giving you that excitement at the same time. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you then. All right. So y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. So here we go. I'm just gonna activate it, bypass it, and go to the beginning of the song. Cause I want you guys to hear that drop. Okay, now with the with the plugin activated. Okay, so obviously a lot of you are like, okay, it just got louder, you know, like, yeah, like, okay, louder, louder sounds better than quiet. Yes, it does. <laughs> and that's exactly my point. Like, it, it just makes it louder because it's, it's supposed to be a limiter, but it's just the way it does it. Watch, I'm going to show you guys. Um, let's go ahead and l just level match it, right? Just to show you what I'm, what I'm talking about.
So as you can hear, it just, man, it, it gives it this like, it just makes it sound more pristine. Like, I don't know, like it's just, I don't know what it's doing. I just know that I like it. And so I just, I naturally just go to it a lot. Um, but let's go ahead and take these off. But I left, I didn't do the, um, the volume of the mix tool there. Um, just because, and you know, when you go back to a, like when I, when I disabled the, the plugins and go play the, uh, the original, right. Before any processing, you'll hear, um, just, you'll hear the difference. You're going to hear the quality. Okay. All right, let's do that now. And listen to the the bass like dun dun like that, that just the way it holds, um, like those the sound of the actual vibrations, the way it sounds, um, that 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 piano sound like dun 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 like what and it's the way it sounds, um, the melodies, right the that that riser or that buildup that is like the chirping sound like it's through through like I can't do that I can't do it with my mouth whatever <laughs> but that that buildup it just every, all these uh these small thin sounds it puts them in it, like the processing that I did it puts them in their own space and then at the same time like they're they're all living in their own space. They're not stepping on, on each other's toes. But at the same time, they're all enhanced. And it's cleaner. And it's more in your face. And, and you feel it like and you're more like in your chest. Like everything's just right there. Like it, it kind of hits you, you know? So watch. I'm gonna play without. Something I want to point out: this meter right here that that uh that Studio One has, um, it's a, a True Peak, so it's a True Peak and RMS. So if you see if I play, you'll see a, a little white line down here. Watch. So that uh. That little white line is the RMS. And then, and you know, whatever's up here is uh, your true peak. So, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because you'll see my, the processing that I did, it sounds about the same level, but the true peak is about 3 dB louder, right? And my, and loves, okay, so I'm going to play with the, uh, Without the processing. And just by the time it gets to... I'm going to stop it at 13 right here. 
And I want you guys to see where the short term and the integrated loves are at. Okay. A lot of professionals use the short term. They don't actually use the integrated. A lot of people will go and tell you, hey, it's integrated. I've done a lot of research. A lot of these pros, um, they use everything. Everything is useful. But the main one, like the last one is like the last line of defense that they're looking at. The first and last is this right here, the short term or like the, um, where is it at? I said it. Some of the, well, I think it's one of these short terms. I want to say it's a short, just a short term. But just pay attention to these two right here. You see, short term to about somewhere around 20, uh, integrated, 25. So 20, 25. Remember those numbers, 20, 25. Now I'm going to go ahead and activate this and watch where this is at. Okay, so they're very similar numbers. Like, they're ballpark, like right there. They're like neck to neck, basically. So what I'm trying to say is, so if you look at the, and listen to how it sounds before and after, again. So what I'm getting at is for my processing to only be 3 dB louder on the on the true peak, that's pretty darn good. Like for how cluttered and how busy it was in the middle and just all these elements just kind of it, it sounds like the it sounds like just these elements got spliced together. And yeah, here we go. Boom, they just tossed it out there. But with the processing that I did, sounds a lot better. And for it to be only at uh, on the True Peak 3 dB louder, like that is really good. I'll I will take that all day because I still have a lot of headroom to play with. So when it gets to the mastering stage, now we got headroom. Now the the mastering engineer has room to play and do the the things that they're gonna do. Right. And we still had we still gotta go back and add vocals and all these other things. Like and start mixing the vocals to the beat. And then as I go through my through the my process, I have the track is for the beat, uh, references for the is when the vocals come in. So beat to track and then vocals to reference. And so the uh the beat and the and the vocals meet at reference. And the vocals come in at reference. The beat comes in at the track. And then they both move on to to mix. And they both move on to volume. I name it volume because it's, it's it's easier for me to remember. It's like the last. It's just nothing nothing happens here. And sometimes something happens here. It just depends. But right here is like, like the first line of defense. And this is like final. And this is like nothing's supposed to happen here. If... If I have to do something here, <laughs> I messed up somewhere. Like um, I'm doing now, I'm just doing way too much, right? So, um, like I said, I'll take that all day. Three dB. The loves is how you know how us humans hear sound, right? How we you know how it's measured. Um, but I want you guys to hear how it sounds before, without the um the processing with the vocals. Okay, so. 
Here we go. Come before the storm, come before the storm, you're now being warned. Plumination coming, nigga. Hey, hey. Let's go, uh Come before the storm, feeling like I got next I've been in the game too long, time to earn my respect Are they gon' hear something next? Tell the crew to play some bitch Are you a Texas flow killer? I was born a fire spirit Come before the storm, feeling like I got next I've been in the game too long, time to earn my respect Are you gonna hold it down for the triple D? I'm the motherfucking problem, as you can see First off, let me introduce this Texas flow killer I be flow munition, plenty ammunition, got you flinching Steady loading up the double barrel, flow gauge in position And <laughs> see, like, hey, that kind of sounded kind of good In a way, see, like and that's the thing, when you have a good recording and it's clear, like like I said, the vocals take attention. But watch what happens when I when I throw in the 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 processing I did to the to the track with the vocals. Now the whole track together is gonna elevate even more. Watch this. Come before the storm, come before the storm, you now been warned. Plumination coming, nigga. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, come before the storm, feeling like I got next. I've been in the game too long, time to earn my respect. Are they gonna hear something next? Tell the crew to play some bet. Are you a Texas flow killer? I was born a fire spitter. Come before the storm, feeling like I got next. I've been in the game too long, time to earn my respect. Are you gonna hold it down? For the triple D I'm the motherfucking problem As you can see First off Let me introduce this Texas flow killer I be flow munition Plenty ammunition Got you flinching Steady loading up the double barrel Flow gauge in position Battle tested Ready for this new age of competition I ain't dissing If you think I am Remain defend your feelings Why you hating I'ma beat a loaded Clips beats I be killing Face I'm over Face express and joker Too ill with the skill I ain't got a team behind me I let my nose, I'm too ill He be my A1 engineer Someone also you will fear In this game as we're alive And for one hell of career High level confidence All about pure dominance Aiming for the top Time to earn my respect Are they gonna hear something next? Tell the crew to play some bet Are you a Texas flow killer? I was born a fire spitter Come before the storm, feeling like I got next I've been in the game too long, time to earn my respect Are you gonna hold it down for the triple D? I'm the motherfucking problem, as you can see Bam, big old difference, like And, and keep in mind, you, you guys can see The vocals have zero processing They are raw, like They are raw to the bone, like Bare bones, you like, like there's nothing, nothing, no filtering, nothing. And you can tell, like, whenever whenever I make a beat, I make sure that everything sounds good before I, I even get to mixing my the beat, right? Like, so when I do, when I am mixing it, I'm it's it's the blending of the vocals and all these other elements. Like, like you're 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 you gotta now you're molding it into a record. A beat, like when you throw in sounds, keyboard, guitar, drums, bass, right? All these other things, vocal shots and risers and effects, right? You're just making the beats. A lot of the times we make beats and they have no intention. Sometimes they do. When they have an intention with a song, then, okay, then you're shaping that, in, you're shaping that beat or that track in the beginning with the artist, right? It has purpose. It has intention, but besides that, if, if you're not doing that, you're just making a beat, right? You're making it with your emotions. You're attached to it. So when an artist buys the beat or releases the beat, whatever, and they're using that beat, now you're like, okay, well, now, now we got to mix it. Now we have to take the beat and it has to, we got to find a way to make it. We got to marry the artist, their vocals, the performance with the performance of the beat maker or the producer or the or the musicians like this has to kind of and it happens in the mixing process so in the case of this beat the beat just got made and there was no real intention behind it so this artist 
um, you know, my boy Fleming Nish, and he wanted to work on it. He he liked the beat, right? And I was, he's not an engineer, so he just liked he liked the beat for the rawness and for what it was. But me as the a producer or engineer, I heard it. I'm like, okay, this needs to be fixed. Otherwise, this is not going to be a, a good record. So again, this matters. Like if you have to do a lot of processing, go for it. Don't let no one tell you you cannot do it. Because some, I, sometimes I find myself, you know, handling beats from other producers and they're in such bad shape or I have to go and fix what someone else did, like other processing and sometimes you got to do a lot. And when you don't, then you don't. Like Maybe you only use three, four, five, two plugins. You never know. Sometimes that's all it takes. But um, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys rocked with it. I hope y'all liked it, the vibe, all that good stuff. Um, I hope I wasn't too boring. But I will say that, again, follow me on this journey. Something new to me. Um, yeah, I, I, I might make some mistakes here and there, but... A lot of it is subjective stuff, you guys. Like, if I know, if I know that I don't know, I'm not gonna talk about it, right? Um, that's just the way I am. But generally speaking, um, like I said, I'm always gonna try to give you guys some games, some gems, things that I know. I'm I'm a musician, so a lot of my mixing my my mixing approach comes from being a musician. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I've never seen anyone else talk about this on youtube as far as like hey you know how you you know as a engineer musician producer like all these things like i'm gonna i'm basically like a one-stop shop right and i'm not saying i know more or anything like that but what i'm saying is i'm gonna bring in my my different mentalities into this space and i want to show you guys how i implement different sides of myself into my production into songwriting, into beat making, into making a song, all these different things, into mixing, to the artwork, like all these things, even to like music videos. So, like I said, as as I grow this channel, as we grow through this journey together, I want to show you guys the things that I've learned, um, you know, since I was a little kid. So, but like I said, with enough talking, thanks for watching. Again, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell comment um you know like tell someone about this hey like, if you thought it was cool you know tell someone else to hey follow this guy man he's pretty cool um and if you guys have any questions leave it in the comments you know and i'll catch you guys on the next one light them up y'all